Hello, New Prospect. Welcome to PTB 2022 for uh, February the 22nd, 2022. And I, I just remembered that I, I signed off, I think, yesterday by saying it was February 21st, 2021. I think it was the 21 that confused me there. It was 2022 yesterday. So uh, anyway, so our text for today, we've got Exodus 5, Luke 8, Job 22, and 1 Corinthians 9. I want to do something a little bit different today, I think. You know, sometimes we prayed through a chapter, or we prayed through a passage, or we prayed through, uh, even prayed through all four texts at, at once. Uh, we're not going to do that today, though. I want to focus in on just one question that that Pharaoh asked, and I will get back to that in just a minute. Uh, we could, of course, look at these other texts. We've got some great texts. You got Luke eight, which has the, has the parable of the sower and Jesus calming the sea. You've got Job 22, which is another speech by Eliphaz, and you've got Paul in 1 Corinthians 9 uh, that speaks of uh, continuous discussion of Christian liberty and about uh, running the race uh, well uh, and running the race to win at the end of that chapter. Uh, but I want to spend some time with this one question. Uh, so if you want to turn over to Exodus 5, this is where, where we'll be. Uh, Pharaoh, of course, Moses goes down to, to Egypt and he, he asks the question, or he, he's done, he delivers the message that God had told him to deliver it, which is, uh, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, let my people go that they may celebrate a feast for me in the wilderness. But Pharaoh responds, and he says this, who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? That first part of that question, who is the Lord? That's going to be the focus of our prayer today. So let's, uh, let's, let's bow in prayer. Father, we're thankful for this time of prayer and just for a time to focus on you. Father, at the heart of the Bible is this question, who is the Lord? Father, we know that the scriptures reveal you to be the creator, the creator of all, all that we see, the creator of us. You knitted us in our mother's wombs. The small things and the big, the complex things and the simple, you have created all things. And because you created all things, Father, we know that you are sovereign over all things. You rule. You are the king. Father, we also know that you know all things. There's nothing that escapes your notice. You are omniscient. You know the future and the past. You know the present. And you know us intimately better than we know ourselves. Father, we know also that you don't just have great power and great knowledge. But Father, you also have great grace, great faithfulness, great goodness. You are the epitome of those characteristics. We thank you that we can trust that you never change. You will always be gracious and good. What a privilege it is, Father, to know you. What a privilege it is to be able to read and even pray over a text of Scripture that reveals who you are what darkness it would be if we did not know you and your light. But Father, in answering that question, who is the Lord? It also draws us to look at Christ, the Son of God given for us. He is Lord to the glory of God the Father. He is the servant who gave his life for as a ransom for the many. He is our shepherd, guiding us through this life and guiding us into and unto salvation. He is the king, the Messiah, who reigns at the right hand of the Father and one day will reign and the new heavens and the new earth. He is our great high priest through whom we have access to the throne of grace. He's our great intercessor. He's our covenant Lord. 
how that we could go through scripture and just never run out of again superlatives to describe Christ. We thank you for the gift that he is. And Father, we know that one day we will see him face to face. What a great promise that is. In our church recently, Father, we know that there are those who have gone to be with him, even in the last few weeks. It's amazing to think about that, that they now know and experience Christ. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. It is amazing what they now see. Their faith has become sight. And it reminds us, Lord, that one day, those of us who are still here on this earth, one day our faith will become sight as well. And we will know you. Know you in that visible way. But even now, Father, we can meditate and rejoice in who you are. Your great character, your great love, ultimately demonstrated and revealed, not just in your word, but in the person of Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Hope you have a great rest of the day on this day, February 22nd, 2022.